solar energy initiative in New York State, uh, in the United States. That term has a specific meaning in New York. It, there are similarly named initiatives uh, in other locations, so I don't want people to get confused. But what we've done in New York is test out and then expand a, uh, a program where the state of New York, uh, through the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, NYSERDA, uh, in partnership with the electric utility uh, select community solar projects to participate in a larger solar for all program. Uh, the solar projects commit all of their electric generation and the value of that electric generation to the program for 25 years. And then each year, all of the uh, value of the generation is pooled together and distributed as bill credits to participating low-income households. So the purpose of this program is to help people who uh, are facing challenges paying their electric bills uh, month to month uh, receive some relief from that. It works uh, in coordination with the state's other uh, energy poverty reduction programs. Um, so a, a, a household might see uh, the solar for all energy credit on their bill alongside uh, credits through other programs. And they would also have the opportunity to do uh, different things like weatherize their home, uh, participate in other energy efficiency programs or even other renewable energy programs at the same time, all with the end of reducing the energy cost burden that the family faces. So some of the challenges we've faced in the program uh, are, are really um, around finding uh, the best approach, the best design, and then scaling up. Um, one thing I'll uh, note that in an early pilot, we uh, tried to sign up uh, households individually, and there was just a lot of confusion from people about, you know, what is this? What is this program? What is solar power? What does it mean if I participate? Are there any risks? Uh, and we treated it as a separate program that anyone who maybe they were already uh, participating and signed up for other energy affordability programs, but this was a totally new thing. Uh, that, that we learned was not the best approach. Um, so as we've evolved the program, we've more and more combined it with other uh, programs serving similar groups of people so that uh, you know, a person, a household can just sign up for one thing all at once. So it is now, um, as, it, as we prepare to fully scale an automatic enrollment program, where every household that is uh, already participating in the state's larger energy assistance program, uh, which includes heating assistance as well as electric assistance, is automatically enrolled uh, and would receive uh, credits on their bill. Now, people can choose to opt out. They can call up their utility and say, you know, for some reason they're not interested. They can leave the program at any time. But um, the adding the automatic enrollment has removed uh, by far the largest barrier for people to participate and benefit and also for the success of the program overall. So I think a really important lesson learned from our experience with the Solar for All program that I think a European uh, audience uh, could, could learn from is just how important it is to uh, understand all the different uh, you know, burdens and barriers that an individual household is uh, facing, and then how other programs uh, or agencies may already be working uh, with, uh, with um, you know, different people, different households. So finding ways to make it as easy as possible for people to uh, sign up and say yes, and um, really also uh, framing it um, as something that uh, participants are um, uh, doing that really has a benefit for the, the society as a whole. You know, this is a great way for people to support renewable energy by participating uh, in the program. And that makes people who have chosen to find out more about it and get information feel really positive about uh, what they're doing while at the same time benefit financially. So I'm really excited that uh, just this last month in May of 2024, New York State's Public Service Commission, which is the energy regulator for the state of New York, approved a plan to scale solar for all uh, statewide. Uh, the pilot uh, phase we just wrapped up was with one of the electric utilities in one part of the state. 
Uh, now we're scaling to all the electric utilities statewide. So um, that's what I'm very excited about. That is the, the, the new level of scale. Uh, it will include, I believe, uh, 800,000 households approximately in its uh, fully scaled version. But there are, of course, a lot of uh, challenges in the implementation that we're going to have to address and work uh, through over the coming years. But I'm uh, looking forward to all of those as well.